Yes. All right. This question is a very, very good question. In fact, I have already done this question in the one day marathon also. Okay. Let's do this together now. Everyone interact with me. Here they have given the following data. We will start with what? Working note 1. Basic data. Let's read through it. What is the face value? 10,000. What is the coupon rate? 8.5 percentage. What is the maturity, years to maturity? 5 years. Next, what have they told over here? YTM is given. How much is a YTM? 10 years. Sorry, sorry, 10 percentage. Sorry, friends. 10 percentage. Now they want you to find out the current market price and they also want you to find out the Macaulay's duration, volatility and then they want you to find out the convexity. Friends, it's easier for me to work out this problem in Excel. So I'm taking an Excel sheet now. <coughs> And then we can insert that sheet over here. All right. All right, friends, how do you value any bond? Come on, tell me. So I'll write down over here, working note number two, value of the bond. In the table format will be here, cash flow, discount factor, discounted cash flow. All right, based on this, you can find out the weight. duration into weight. All right. So now here what I'll do is I'll put the data that is available. What is the coupon rate? 8.5 percent, right? So I'll write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So all these here, the cash flow will be, I think, 850. Correct? Yes. It will be 1000, sorry, 10,000 into 8.5 percent will be 850. That is correct. So this money will be paid every year, correct? And at the last of that fifth year, you will get back 10,850. What is the discount factor told over there? 10%, right? So here it will be 1 divided by 1.1, sorry. 0 0.909, again divided by 1.1 and I can pull this down. Correct? All right. So once I do this, from here, I can find out the discounted cash flow. <coughs> so we get the price as how much friends? 9431. Now, if I do it over here, I will get the weights also. So the weight turns out to be around 8% for the first year. Oh, I need to... Fine. So once you get the weight, what will we do? We will do year into the weight. So once I do this, I'll get this answer. Now when I take the sum, this is the sum that I will get over here. So everyone tell me, what is the duration that we found out over here now? We got the average duration as 4.25. Once I get average duration, can I go and find out volatility also? Working note number 3 will be what? Volatility. Everyone tell me, what is the formula for volatility? 
it is going to be duration divided by 1 plus y. Wonderful. So, when you do this, the answer would be duration is 4.25 divided by 1.1. So, do we get the answer as 3.865 years, friends? Or in other words, what is the logic of this 3.865? It means for every 1% change in the yield, the price is going to change by how much percentage? By 3.87 years. Sorry, percentage. That is the percentage. That is the logic of what? Volatility. Everybody clear with this part now, friends? All right. So we have now got the first part. That is the value of the bond. We got the duration. And we have also got the answer of what? We have got the answer of volatility. Next part, let's go and read. After we find the current price, duration and volatility, they are asking for convexity of the bond. Friends, let us solve it first. Then I will tell you the meaning of convexity. Okay. So I'm just copying the same table till here. And I'll call it as working note number four. Uh, working note number four would be convexity. First, let us do this. Then I'll tell you the logic of it. Here, what I will do is instead of 10%, I will take 12%. So where one place I'll take 12%, other place I'll take it as 8%. Alright, so here the formula would be 1 divided by 1.12. Am I right? All this, what is the logic? I'll tell you later. Let's just do it first so that we get some answer. Okay. So I believe when I took 12%, I am getting the answer as 8738 over here. Now let us try taking 8%, 1 divided by 1.08, again this divided by 1.08, alright. So I have got a different number over here and I think if I take the, the formula for this one would be 850 into discounting factor. into discounting factor. Perfect. Wait, something wrong here. <clears throat> 8738 is it? So have I done some mistake here? Oh, I've taken the that wrong discount. Come again. Uh, is not required. Uh, it's required. Without which you will not be able to. Yeah, come again. I'm sorry, I'm not following what you're saying. Can you please repeat once again? Correct. 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 Okay, I, I think you're trying to say that we can directly take this and we can find out these answers is what you're saying, right? Yeah, no, but, but you wait. That is not correct. Why it's not correct is what I'm trying to explain using convexity. All right. I'll come to that part. Just be, just wait for some time. I'll let you know. Okay. All right. Friends, let us just revise this whole thing. All right. First value of the bond, 9431, 4.25. Is everybody clear with this part? Duration is 4.25. Volatility, 3.87. Is everybody clear with this part also? Right? Convexity, you got 10,199 or 10,200 and 8738. If you are clear till here, let me just paste this in our worksheet. Let's hope I can paste it there directly. <clears throat> Let's check it if I can. Yes, I can. Perfect. So value of the bond, I think we got the numbers. The table is just slightly, it's come compressed, but we got the data. Value of the bond, we got 9431 and 4.25. Volatility also we got. 
and we have also got this part am i right perfect so all the three have come over here 8738 and 10199 also we have received okay now everyone interact with me here we got hold on okay let's continue here we got the basic data here we got three things now as he rightly said we can actually find out the volatility am i right it's already given as 3.87 i will come to that part also let me first finish off with convexity formula i would like to just explain that to you then i will come and explain to you why we are doing this convexity the formula will be v plus plus v minus minus 2v0 whole divided by 2v0 so here basically v plus is the higher present value v minus is the lower present value v0 is the base year present value so let me explain this to you once again over here here have i got v plus as the higher present value that is 10200 approximately v minus will be 8738 and v0 or the base year will be 9431 all right so what will be the formula now 10200 plus 8738 minus 9431 into 2 whole divided by 9431 into 2 can you just work it out and tell me what answer you get over here friends <coughs> do you get the answer as 0.40 percentage okay this is the convexity of the bond ideally we are done with the question but logic part is pending so i'll just give you some time to understand this basic data i'll give you one minute just read through it based on this we have found out the value of the bond 9431.68 and we also found the duration please read through it then we found out the volatility 3.87 followed by convexity we got using this plus and minus we used the we actually found out the present value at 12% and 18% and then we did the convexity and we got the answer as 0.4% a new formula that we learned here just read through this understand then i will tell you the logic are you all done writing this or reading through this and understanding this part friends now let me explain to you the logic of this entire thing all right hold on let me give the question number also here please remind me to give the question number okay question number 2 all right <clears throat> yes now i'll explain to you the logic friends we know one thing when the yield is 10 percentage what is the price Nine four three one point five. When the yield becomes twelve percentage, or when it falls down to eight percentage, I can actually find out my yield or my price using volatility concept. I can also do it using another concept called as DCF concept. DCF present value of future cash flow is the most accurate method actually 
So now under DCF method, I believe we have got the answers over here. What is the answers we got? 8738, 10,200. 10,200. Now we are going to do the same thing under volatility concept. Here we have got the volatility. How much is the volatility that we have got over here, friends? 3.87% or which means my actual price will be if the yield is going up, the price will fall by 2% into 3.87%. Do you get the answer as 8701 over here? Am I right? Now, here when it comes down, the formula would be plus 2 into 3.87. I think you'll get the answer as 10,161 over here. Do you all agree with me over here, friends? So we actually found out the price using volatility concept also, using DCF concept also. Now interact with me. This is what I called as V0. This price is falling down V minus. This one is V plus. So what was the formula I taught you earlier? V plus plus V minus minus 2 V0. Can you just do that and tell me what is the answer you get for the first one? Can someone please help me out and tell me the answer? Lakshmi Priya, you got the answer as zero correctly. Perfect. You must have got an approximately either zero or one or something like that. Do you get the answer over here as zero? Whereas when you did the same thing over here, you got the deviation as how much? 76. Friends, this is the real problem that we are trying to tackle. Volatility assumes that for every 1% change in the yield, the price will change by 3.87%. But in reality, the graph doesn't go like that. The graph goes in a convex manner due to which there is going to be some deviation. So here, ideally, I'll just show you drawing a volatility graph. As per the volatility graph, the graph should be like this. As the yield 10%, 12, it should go straight. But actual graph is not like that. Actual graph, when I do it using DCF method, the graph actually goes like this. Or that is why it is called as the convex graph. And this thing is called as what? Convexity. Or what is the logic of convexity goes like this. How much is the volatility that we found out actually? 3 point, how much percentage? 8, 7 percentage, right? What the convexity says is that your actual volatility will be either plus 0.4 percent or minus 0.4 percent. So tell me how much is 3.87 plus 0.4 percent? Do you get the answer as 4.27 percentage? And the other one would be 3.47 percentage. Or you can mention over here, the actual volatility will range between 3.47 and 4.27 percentage. Are you all clear with this part now, friends? Just read through this. <coughs> Somebody who unmuted earlier, can you please unmute yourself now? My now got it? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yes, sir. Thank you.